Hello, hello. Yeah, I got, uh, got pretty bad luck on my car today. A traffic accident, unfortunate. That's why we're having the stream early, because obviously I'm not going to fish after a traffic accident. Uh, but yeah, like we're going to talk about 100x, maybe even 1,000x coins that can actually be had in the next bull market. Because I'm sure a lot of you are actually wondering about that. Now, the thing is, like, when you're purchasing any of these coins, you have to know that you are taking a very, very big risk. It, this is not, like, it's not a question of whether you're taking a risk or not. You are taking an extremely big risk when you buy any of these coins. Some are better than others, but you're taking a very big risk. Like, we've talked about, we've talked about one, and, uh, you know, like, um, SHA, or Safe Haven, I do believe it does fall into this category and it's 0.000854 right now. So if you look at the market cap, that's key. Uh, like uh, the market cap is 2 million. The fully diluted market cap is only 7 million. So that means 100x, it's only 200 million and 700 million, which isn't really that much for a bull market. In a bull market, I don't think 700 million would even breach the top 100. And 200 million would probably be out of the, like the top 200 million would probably be like out of the top 200 in a bear market. So it's not really asking for all that much. Now, Safe Haven, we've done a couple of AMAs. with. We know that for Safe Haven, we have actually done a couple of AMAs with them. They have a product that people are actually using and they're trying to build up their ecosystem. They're using VeChain for everything. So like, you know, for these L1 blockchains, the projects on these L1 blockchains could actually have much more L ROI value than the L1 blockchains themselves. So we're looking at something like, we're, we are actually looking at something like SHA or SHA. We are looking at someone, something like SHA or a Safe Haven um, to actually get you that 100 or uh, 100X or, you know, like maybe even 500X. Because like, you know, I, I would like conservatively, I would say like conservatively successful for Safe Haven, you reach maybe 100 million, 150 million market cap, and that's like 50X. But you can get 100X from this because these total supply of, uh, the max supply of Safe Haven, I'm sorry, is only $8.5 million. Yeah, the, the, the max, I mean, the total supply is only 8.5 million Safe Haven. And the, the thing is like, it's probably only inflating little by little. It's 3.01 billion SHA right now. So the thing is like in the next bull market, I don't expect them to massively expand the amount of tokens available. So like on, on a, a market cap valuation, assuming that, you know, like, you know, this is seen as a legitimate project, which I think it will be, you can actually get those high multiplier numbers. And this is a project that you would hold this is a project that you could try to hold for the long term. Now, the problem is there's not that much volume. So there's a lot of volatility in here, but in the bull market, there's a lot of, uh, there's gonna be a lot more volume. The thing is I would not buy more than about $1,000 worth of safe haven or $500 worth of safe haven right now because of the small volume. Um, the thing is like for some of these small projects, even if you put a lot of research into them, I wouldn't put more than like $500 into them because they can actually blow, they can definitely blow up in your face at any given time. And, you know, like, I'm not really, I really am not exaggerating on stuff like this. They, they totally can blow up in your face at any given time. So uh, something like as something like a safe haven, you can put some money into and $500 could end up getting you like, you know, 500, like, you know, like $100,000 or something like that, right? But the thing is, like, you do have to get a little bit lucky and you do have to keep very, very close track of these projects. If you're investing for the next bull market on what you think are legitimate projects, you're going to have to track them very, very carefully. You're going to have to follow their Twitter. You're going to have to follow their YouTube. You're going to have to, like, you know, uh, look at their AMAs. It is actually a lot of work to get that 100x. But if you get that 100x, you can actually make a ton of money, obviously. So it is a lot of following and there's a lot of keeping up with news. Now, the thing about something like Safe Haven is, I do actually believe it's a legitimate project. Unlike a lot of meme coins, SA, like SHA isn't a meme coin, even though it has the a word safe, uh, safe in it. It's not affiliated with Safe Moon at all. But the thing is, like, um, it's actually like it's actually a project with products that actually people are using. So I think there's less chance of something like SHA going to zero than something like you know maybe Doge Law on Mars or something like that. So. You can buy you can buy five hundred dollars of Safe Haven for both the short term and the long term. And no, I am not being sponsored by Safe Haven. I do I have connection with one of the guys. I don't have any SHA myself, uh, but they they are not paying me to say this. Like none of these coins are actually paying me to say this. So Safe Haven is one of those coins that you can actually that that you can actually really look at. 
Of course, there are the metaverse coins. You know, there's like Vulcan, uh, Vulcanverse, Vimworld, and some of the others. Uh, Gala, we've mentioned multiple times, but maybe they'll have like sub coins within the Gala ecosystem. And that's what like people could actually be looking for as well. Yeah, I'm here holding on to your dreams of peeing in a demolition derby. You can buy some same used car for 9K. I, you, I can probably buy the same used car, but I've actually been wanting an upgrade on a car and I'm not really sure if I really want to buy the same used car. But it kind of sucks. Like what I'm looking at is like something maybe in the teens, maybe even in the 20s range. But I am a little bit short, I am a little bit short on cash right now because the crypto market has actually been kind of garbage. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to sell my crypto holdings, obviously. But like the earnings from crypto YouTube have kind of been garbage lately. So I am a little bit stripped on cash. So I might have to like go, go for an over mo older model, which would actually be okay. I mean, I can just buy like a crappy Corolla for the time being until I can get something else. Our Fox is another one that can go a bit silly. Yeah, I mean like, you know, I don't really know too many of, we, I don't really know too many of these. Um, but the thing is like, I have talked with the SHA team. So the thing is that the market cap is 12 million. Um, and the thing that's good about our Fox, something like this is the fully diluted market cap is less than twice the total market cap right now, which means most of the coins are already out. Volume is 178,000. By the way, with these small volume coins, with small volume coins like this, you will actually want, if there's a DEX for stuff, if there's a DEX for something like this, um, like, you know, if there's pancake swap or a DEX for something like this, you will actually want to, for small volume coins, you will want to put your high sell order very, very high. Like put like, have some of your RFOX or like have some of these coins on like a DEX or maybe even a centralized exchange if you trust that centralized exchange and just put a really, really high sell order on it. Because the thing is at least 10X, if not 20X, the current price, because the thing about like coins like this is like with so little volume, if someone does a big buy, they can spike the price up. And if you actually have like a, a, a small sell order, that actually might get filled. So the thing is like you can get like 10 or 20x fairly quickly if you get a spike. And getting 10 or 20x very, very quickly obviously is always a good bid. Even if the coin goes up like 100x. Like it might take some time, but even if, but if you catch a spike and like, if you don't have a sell order, like at 10 or 20 X, if a big whale buys it, you won't even know it happens overnight. You won't even know. But like if a big whale actually buys a lot on an exchange overnight and you have a sell order, it might actually get filled. And that is much more likely to happen uh, with coins that actually have a ton of volume like this one. So the project, this project myself, I don't really know about it. It's like the global global leader in immersive metaverse experiences focused on retail, media, gaming, and trends. So yeah, maybe, I mean like once again, metaverse coins are, metaverse coins are very, very risky, but the thing is like the nature of a thousand X coins are always gonna be uh, real, really, really risky. So like if you actually look at the ecosystem for something like this, uh, RFOX Vault MVP, a fully immersive shopping, retail, and uh, entertainment experience and virtual reality, combining various gaming elements. Now, like I said, in terms of gaming, there is a big, big hump. There's a massive hump for these things to actually get over in terms of gaming. Definitely a massive hump for these things to go over in terms of gaming. Because like a lot of like ga uh, gamers have a, gamers definitely have a large stigma uh, towards um, like meta, uh, NFTs and things like that. So the thing is like, you're gonna have to get over that stigma for any of these uh, metaverse games. Now, I don't really know which uh, project is going to get over that stigma first. I'm assuming one of them will eventually get over that stigma, but I'm not really sure. I mean, the MVP metaverse out for testing already. So the thing is like, how, like what's the feedback from the metaverse? Because like the, the, the purpose of a metaverse is to get people actually to take part in the metaverse without uh, like not really so much for the rewards, but get people to take part in the metaverse, not so much for the rewards, but mainly just for the metaverse itself. And I think you're going to have a very, very hard time finding people that basically um, want to partake in the metaverse itself. They have an MVP, yeah. You should have buy a Nissan Titan. They look cool. I, I'm probably not going to buy... Look, I, I'm not really going to buy a, a car that actually looks cool. I'm just going to buy a car for like what I actually want to do. Good gas mileage and has a high clearance. That's really what I want. Uh, that That's essentially like good good gas mileage, dependable, and has a clearance. Honda CRV would work fine if there's an older model. Um, obviously, like a Toyota RAV4. Even a Sorento would actually work just fine. 
It's about metaverse. It is, I mean, it's more than, it's, and it's more than just about, it's actually more than just about metaverse adoption. I mean, like you have to get people, I mean, you do have to get people to play the metaverse for the metaverse. Like I know like living in the metaverse sounds kind of weird, but that's literally what you need to do. You know that Korean, you know those Asian guys that literally like live in like World of Warcraft or League of Legends? You need those people in the metaverse. So like something like R Fox, uh, something like R Fox would actually be, um, would be a pretty big risk, but one of these, I think one of these metaverses is eventually going to work. One of these VRs is like uh, eventually going to work. You do have to get people coming back and that means building a huge community and uh, building a huge community in these metaverses is actually rather hard. This is that kind of funny, like, uh, so Matt, like the, the so the, um, the platform that accidentally gave the uh, woman, uh, like, $7.1 million instead of $68 was, is Matt Damon endorsed. So I'm not really sure if Matt Damon lost a lot of money there, but it is Matt Damon endorsed. They're releasing a game in one of their shops. The MVP is in VR and on mobile. Nice, nice. I mean, like, I, I do think mobile... You know, the thing is, I think it's actually really hard to, like, suck in people in mobile like that. I don't really, like, mobile like mobile games tend to be the kind of games that people play for, like, a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds while, like, you know, while they're passing the time, they're not, they don't tend to be like the immersive stuff that people tend to spend hours and hours on. And that's really what you need if you're going to build like a top end metaverse. So I do think there is going to be, there, I, I definitely think there's going to be um, difficulties there. Maybe in the increase in car repos will bring lower. I mean, like, but I need one in the next two weeks. So I, don't, I can't really wait for car prices to come down. Well, I mean, you could, look, you can say that mobile game sucks. And, you know, I would be somewhat okay to agree with you, but sure. Genshin Impact is a mobile game and people spend a ton of time and money on it. Yeah, but I mean, that's like one out of a million. I suppose if you can make something out of Genshin Impact, but the thing is like for something like that, Mustas, you have yet, like, they have yet to show me why you actually need crypto or blockchain at all. I mean, if you're gonna use microtransactions, if you're actually gonna use microtransactions, why not just use like cash for microtransactions? Why do you actually need uh, crypto? I guess to reach like those countries where the transactions don't work, you could use crypto, but that's a fairly small market right now. So we'll we'll see, we'll see. But like, like the countries where the 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 crypt the, your like credit card or your like you know just your bank account can't reach, those are fairly small markets right now. So I'm not really sure like if that's a. a, a um, I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm really not sure if that's like a model you can go off of. But we'll see. I mean, I, I do think like... I do think it's... I, I do actually think it's possible for Metaverse to actually do that. But we're still a ways away. It could probably be the only successful metaverse with the sum pervy. Well, you know, the thing is like, the, the thing is like this Tamadoge thing could actually work out. I mean, I'm not saying you should buy Tamadoge, but there's a, there is a decent chance that Tamadoge works better than any of these metaverses. Yes, the graphics are going to suck. I, I will say, yes, the graphics on Tamadoge are going to suck, but I think people will act like some people, at least for the time being, will actually, will actually play this meme thing. And the meme factor, and the meme factor could actually be really, really, um, and honestly, like the meme factor, honestly, could be like, um, yeah, the, the meme factor could be like the thing to go on, honestly, uh, for, for, for like stuff like this. The meme factor could definitely be something to go on. So like, yes, I mean, but I mean, like, and, and the thing is like, people will play, you know that people will play pixelated metaverses. The graphics don't really have to be great. I mean, I don't really know how they're going to make the gameplay in Toma Doge or whatever, like play to earn or whatever, but just having like, you know, just being connected with Doge, that could actually give it some kind of potential there. Cooler than spider tanks? I, I don't know if it is or not. Maybe if you have a dog, like, going out and collecting coins, maybe that'll actually draw people in. I don't really know. I mean, any, look, I mean, like, realistically, anything is possible. So if you have a, if you have, like, a dog collecting coins and stuff, anything could definitely be possible. I'll give you that. I mean, like spider tanks is a very ambitious project, but remember Gala has like, Gala has like thousands of like uh, two dozen games coming out. You know what I would be interested in though? I would actually be bu interested in buying coins specifically in those games. Not so much like buying Gala itself, because if one of those games actually becomes popular, that could blow up. Uh, do you think it's a good time to DC into stocks given the upcoming recession? Maybe like, 
the thing is, if you think there's going to be a recession, I would probably wait a few months. I, I mean, we, we've already, in my opinion, we've already been in a recession for quite some time. Like, it, like the thing is, like, I've actually, like, we've actually been in a recession for quite some time. We're going to see if we can attract people. Anyways, we're, we're going to be like, uh, we're, I, I've been actually in a recession for like quite some time. And I do think we've actually seen the worst of it. I, I definitely think we're, we've seen the worst of the recession because I do think inflation is going to is going to start to go down. And in the, at least in the United States now in Europe, they haven't seen the worst of it because inflation, I think, is going to keep going up because of the winter and the energy crisis and all that stuff. But like in a, in the United States, like inflation is probably going to start to go down like we probably peaked in July, like August went down pretty significantly. And I think it will go down in September as well. I don't really know if we're cutting, I don't really know if we're cutting into our natural gas and oil reserves or not. I mean, I don't think, D, I, I personally don't think DCA is such a bad idea. I think DCA is, I do actually think uh, DCA is actually a really, really good idea at this point. I do actually think like DCA is actually a pretty good idea at this point. Um, cause like a lot of the stock prices have dipped down and I, and I really think that's the, that's true about crypto as well. A lot of the crypto prices are pretty depressed. Tell that to retail stores right now. It's going to be funny when they go from this hyper inflation retail to super fire sales after this month. I don't really know if they're going to go into super fire sales. I do think there might be some fire sales available. The, the strategic petroleum reserve has been drained to 1984 levels. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how much is actually left and how much it can actually maintain us. But the thing is, like, I think Matt, I think Biden should actually, I think Biden should, like, basically say, like, I'm going to open up the pipeline, if not anything, just for psychological effect. What st stocks would you get into if you were to DCA? I don't know. Like, I would probably still look at energy because I still think, like, in the next year or so, energy could still, like, boom in the winter. So, like, I would buy some energy stocks right now just to see what the upcoming winter actually brings. Um, I would definitely, I think tech is pretty depressed right now. So I might be looking at tech. I might be looking at tech too. I probably wouldn't look at retail right now, but I mean, like I would definitely look at like tech uh, as well. And if you're really, if you're really looking to take a risk, I would look at crypto stocks. Cause I think like crypto stocks follow crypto. They're just kind of like super volatile. I think crypto stocks are essentially like super volatile versions of crypto prediction on new car price. I saw this sweet super, but it wants 10% over MSRP. Dude, I've seen like MSRPs like into the 20,000s and where the dealer wants like 40,000. Proterra? Yeah, like I would say like, I would say like new EV companies are worth looking at. Like Perry, I would actually think like new EV companies are actually worth looking at. You would have to do a lot of research though. You would definitely have to do a lot of research on new EV companies to see like how their products going along. How like if, how longer they can get like government subsidies and like how their technology actually is. Because Tesla, you have the, you have like Tesla and you have the big car manufacturers all going after EV. So it's not going to be an easy market to actually dominate. Yeah, car dealers are all ja like jacking prices. I've looked at the used car prices. They're like insane right now. Like, like the, the used car dealer prices are insane right now. Like you can't find like something under 100K for like less than 20K. The founder of Thodex, a sizable Turkish cryptocurrency exchange who fled the country with $2 billion last year, has been arrested. He now faces some 40,000 years in jail. Well, I don't think he's getting out then. I definitely don't think he's actually getting out. The, the thing is, like, the thing is, like, uh, the supply chain issues, look, the supply chain issues have basically pawned us at this point. Like, back in 2013, 2014, I was able to basically get a new Kia Optima for, like, 20K. I can't find a Kia, I can't really find an Optima with like less than 80K miles for like under 20K. It's like crazy now. So BMW said you have to pay monthly for heated seat options this year. Yeah, I'm not going to do that, definitely. I don't really care about heated seat options. Europe is substituting natural gas for oil right now due to natural gas having a price equivalent of $500 per barrel. Maybe. Well, the, the, the thing about Europe right now is that they're, like, they, they, have so, they have another source in Norway, but Norway can't offset Russia entirely. Proterra is the only transit EV company. It's located in the U.S. They will be producing all school bus. Oh, that's pretty cool. So Proterra might actually be one to look at. Ending the fossil fuel without a transition or plan is crazy. I mean, the, the thing is, like, no one really planned for the Russian war. So I, I don't think anyone had a contingency plan for Vladimir Putin invading Ukraine and basically blocking off uh, oil for all of Europe. 
Do Europeans make electric cars? I, I think they do. And plus, like, Europeans have, like, way better, like, public transit than Americans do. No, what I think, what I think, really think about XRP. Look, XRP may not be a bad investment, but it's not, like, but it's not, like, a great investment at this point. The, the, the thing is, like, I don't really, like, obviously, I don't really believe too many of the suppression theories, and I don't really believe it's going to be mass adopted. I really don't believe it's going to be mass adopted everywhere. Like, all those, like, boom things from Jack the Rippler, probably all bullcrap, but the thing is, they have gotten some adoption from emittance and banks. I don't think the value will, I don't really think the value will ever really go that high. I mean, like, I think it would be, I think it would be lucky to even reach double digits, like it's not going to go to like triple or quadruple digits. Like ten dollars would be ten even in a bull run. I think ten dollars would be pretty hard for XRP to reach. You're talking about because if you look at the price right now, you're talking about a top ten coin going like thirty x. You're you're literally talking about like a top ten coin going thirty x. Well, the thing is, like, the U.S. is, like, even right now, the U.S. is pretty self-sufficient for oil. It's just that, like, the greedy oil companies are gouging prices. The U.S. actually the U.S. actually produces enough oil to sustain itself. But the oil executives are just, like, not, like, are basically lowering their production because they want to price gouge. There's quite a few, there's actually quite a few companies that actually make EVs right now. Tesla's not the only one. They're just not the, they're just the most famous one. And I still think Tesla has the best battery technology. But the thing is, like in the decade, in the decades to come, we do actually have to prepare to actually transfer off of oil. That's what we actually have to do. Like in the decades to come, many top tier crypto influencers from YouTube and Twitter are collectively calling a major dip, aka generational buy opportunity in Q1 2023. I feel like that might actually get them a lot of views. But the thing is, like if you're if you're just hoping for the generational dip. If, we're, if you're just hoping for the generational dip and not DCAing right now, you actually might be left out in the cold. So I would be careful about just trying to hit that. And plus, we had a generational dip like twice, during, like once during like the, the, the COVID black swan event and once during the Craig, uh, Craig Wright hash war. You had a generational chance right there. So they're not really generational dips. We are forced to buy full electric, but prices are so high. Charging a car will also get more. I think so too. I mean, right now, I don't really know how much money electric cars actually save people. What? Oh, not. I mean, like, I had a traffic. I had a traffic accident, but like, I wasn't hurt or anything. I, I like. I. I mean, like, uh, it didn't. Like, the impact didn't really jolt me, but my car's kind of totaled. It's one of those things where the car gets hit on one side of the front. You're on the other side. The car's unusable now, but you're fine. Uh, look, eventually people will get used to electric cars, but we're not really ready for the transition yet. It's going to take a decade or two more. You need to build more. You need to build more infrastructure, and costs do actually need to come down. Battery technology also needs to get better. The self the self driving technology, however, is very very key. I think, especially for companies like Uber. The U.S. produces 20 billion oils per day. Now, if you actually look at the imports exports, so oil production, so barrels per day right now, 14 million barrels versus 19 million barrels. Daily deficit, negative uh, 4.8 million. Okay, so it, it actually changed from like, it actually changed from a couple of years ago. But I think like, but the thing is our imports mostly come from Canada and Canada is not going to like sanction us. So I don't think we're in that much trouble. The range should be like 800 miles minimum before I go electric. I think I would settle for 500 miles because that's how much I get on my, I, that's actually like, um, I would settle for 500 miles because that's generally how much I get on my, um, uh, on, on my car. And they need to get the charging time down to like five minutes. I don't know how they do that though. We need to deal with it from a consumption standpoint. We do, we do. But like asking people to give up their lifestyle is going to be incredibly hard, if not impossible. That's the Cybertruck's way too damn big, man. So, so uh, what are some other like? What are some interesting small cap? What are some interesting small cap projects that you guys actually like? Because I mean, I've already said I kind of I kind of like Safe Haven. Gala's not really small cap anymore. But I mean, it still has a lot of, 
it still has a lot of potential for growth. Like 300 million, I wouldn't consider completely small cap, but it's still well outside the top 50. So there's still like, there's still a lot of potential there. Plus all the games they're actually releasing right now. Um, I would actually look at like, I don't know how much liquid finance is actually going to debut at. And I don't really know how much like Occam is actually going to debut at, but uh, they are going to, they actually are going to debut pretty soon. And like, New like new projects like that on Cardano or Polkadot could actually be worth a lot because like I do actually think most of the ROI value once again on those chains is actually in the projects and not really on the uh, not on the uh, chains themselves. CKB, CKB can definitely be one. Yes, like Cody and CKB are both like ones to look at. I don't really know about Casper Coin. It's been around for a while now. Veracity is smaller. They do have the proof of view thing, so they do have that angle. A lot of people will be converted to EV with Cybertruck if they're into trucks. I don't know about that. I'm waiting for a car which has battery like a wristwatch, used for five years, never change but replace. Yeah, I don't know um, if, if that's a thing. That's going to be a thing. A lot of nuclear power plants will have to be built to support electric cars to go. You know, the thing is, like, we actually have to, like, we, we do actually have to, I, I do think we have to figure out fusion sooner or later. Like, if you're going to do that, if you're actually going to do that, I think you do have to figure out fusion sooner or later. Because if you don't really, if you don't figure out fusion, I think it's going to be pretty tough if you don't figure out fusion. Uh, QG, GNS, Oct, Kopi is one, but the Cybertruck is meme. The MLN, Enzym, and DAFI protocol are small caps. Probably will never be huge. Well, here's the thing. If you buy small caps, like if you buy small caps and they become medium caps, um, that can actually pay you off really, really well. If you buy small caps and they become medium caps, it can pay you off early. Like 46, mil, like 46 million market cap and a fully diluted market cap of 47 million. That's actually right. That's actually good right there. Like you just have to make sure that they don't increase the total supply by too much because they're already almost at their total supply. What you don't want this to do, what you really don't want this to actually do. Yeah, what you really don't want, what you really don't want this to do is like to increase the total supply because they increase the total supply, you might be kind of screwed. We need nuclear cars. Imagine, yeah. What about magic? What's magic craft? That model S, yeah. Well, I think like energy stocks overall might actually be a pretty good buy because I don't think we're going to like cheap energy is actually coming within like the next year or two. I, I mean, like companies, like companies actually have permits to drill on federal land. They just don't want to drill right now. Like they actually want energy prices to actually be really, really high so they can actually, uh, be, so they can basically gouge people. In Do Quan, I trust. So, are you like, are you in on the Luna C thing? Because I'm definitely, I'm definitely not in on the Luna C thing. I don't know if you are in on the Luna C, th Luna C thing, but I am definitely not in on the Luna C thing at all. What's the ticker for Tama Dodge? Um, right now, it's not out yet. They're still doing their pre-sale. Wrapped Luna? Nah, I'm not all, I'm not all about that. Like, if I were to buy a Luna, it would probably be Luna Classic, but I'm not gonna buy that right now. Tamadaj is on pre-sale, so like go to uh, go to tamadaj.io if you're actually interested. Like I've only I'm only mentioning them not because I love the project. I'm only mentioning them because they've been making a lot of noise. And meme coins that make a lot of noise sometimes have really big pumps. Definitely like meme coins that make a lot of noise tend to have really large pumps. But like it's not like because I'm in love with a project or anything. MCRT. Yeah, look, 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 Doge, like, uh, Do Quan doesn't have anything to do with, like, Luna Classic or Rap Luna or anything right now. Doge Chain Token is a low cap. Yeah, I think Doge Chain Token, like, Doge Chain Token could definitely be something, um, what's the symbol? What's the actual symbol? That could definitely be something uh, that, if, that you want to look at if you are actually into meme coins. Is it, it's only on Dex right now, right? So Doge chain is 0.003273. I, I do actually think this could actually be pretty big. Um, self, but we don't really know what the total supply is. The self-reported circulating supply is 5.5 billion. So technically, yes, this could actually get pretty big. And the thing is, like, do you like do you really believe that the Doge ecosystem will grow? 
No, I don't think Luna will hit. A, look, Yasin, unless they burn like 99% of the supply, I don't think Luna will hit a penny. If they burn 99% of the supply, you got to ask who's going to burn all their coins because they can't force people to burn their coins. They're doing a burn tax of 1.2%. So if they can't bur force anyone to burn their coins, who's actually going to burn their coins? That is the question that we actually need to ask. If they, if they can convince Binance and the big exchanges to sacrifice and burn all their coins, then yeah, you got something. But, you know, like, I think the chance of you getting Binance and the big exchanges to burn their coins is pretty much zero. So I'm, I'm definitely not, I'm definitely not going to be banking on something like that, you know. So, you know, like, there's a, there's a, there's definitely a ton, there's a, definitely a ton of give and take on this. $95 a barrel is consistently is what they're looking for. Wait, it, but oil's, isn't oil like under 95 right now? I mean, like oil's always going to be oil always is going to be pulled by market forces. Like if it's not like right now, if you look at oil, it's like eighty eight dollars a barrel. So technically, like gas prices should be cheaper than what they are right now. They're just gouging at this point. What about uh, cat quash? It's the coin for liquid exchange. Twenty two million dollar market cap. It, I don't think liquid exchange is up yet. Right. Like if you actually like if you believe in liquid exchange, it might not be too bad. It might actually not be too bad if you believe in liquid exchange. It's an ERC-20. I haven't used liquid myself. I don't really know, like, I don't really know how many people actually use liquid exchange. Yeah, I just got the Celsius bankruptcy letter in the mail. Pretty impressive. They reached me all the way in Taiwan. Yeah, like, it's like their third bankruptcy filing. Like, I, I think Celsius is screwed. Like, I mean, there might be one or two more pumps for CEL, but that's it. Like, they're, they're not going to recover. They're, they're definitely not going to recover. I think CEL is basically screwed at this point. Like the only, the only thing good that the coin is actually for is actually pump and dumps at this point. If you're interested in that. So I've already mentioned what I th really think about, um, XRP. I don't think it's actually going to be that nearly as big as people, I think as people think it might be a decent investment, but there are going to be a lot of coins that actually outperform it. The stuff that like Jack the Rippler and like all the hype XRP YouTubers come up with they're not going to happen. Like those guys have been literally wrong on everything, like on every single prediction they've made. Like Fed now is not using XRP. Like several people that have worked on it have actually come out and said that. Like, could they possibly use it for a cross border sometime in the future? Maybe, but there's a lot of solutions out there as well. Do you, so the thing is like, the thing is like, although like, Although it might be a decent investment in the future, I still think like I still think chains with actual like incentive to hold and stake will actually do better. Because essentially you're comparing like a, a crypto that doesn't have any interest with a crypto that actually does have interest. No, but the thing is there's really no evidence for that. That's what the founders want to do. That's really what the founders want to do. But there's they, they like that goal is gonna be incredibly hard to achieve for them. There's CBDCs built on all kind. There's CBDCs that's that are built on all chains. XRP isn't going to be the only one, and their share of the market's probably going to be pretty small. I think like it'll be hard. For, I think ten dollars would be a very hard uh, marker to reach for XRP. You're talking about a top ten going go, top ten coin going thirty x. Like ten dollars could possibly be possible, but like triple digits or quadruple digits is just not going to happen. And if you're if you're stuck if you're stuck waiting for that, you're going to miss out on a lot of other opportunities. Remember in remember in crypto, you're not talking about like you're just investing in a void. You're basically giving up opportunity on other coins for holding your coin. Like you essentially hold top tens for a little bit of safety value. You don't really hold top tens for like huge ROI value. Like. XRP is not going to ever get the ROI they got in 2017, 2018. If you're hoping for that, you're chasing a dream that's never going to materialize. Yeah, it, it's not going to get to $100, though. That, that's the thing. It's not going to get to $100. Like, it'll be, it'll be hard-pressed to get to $10. Traveling to China on Tuesday? Look, here's the thing. Here's the thing, like no one's really buying it right now. Besides, besides like the hype artists and the XRP army, no one's really buying it right now. If like it was actually going to, if that was already all planned out, people would be sucking it up right now. No one's really buying it right now. It is the thing, like it's been like almost five years since all the hype started and it's at, still at 33 cents. Lawsuit or not, that's not a coin that's preparing to go to $100. I still, I mean, I, I, I still like Coinbase and Binance. I do actually like uh, US-based exchanges that have a little bit of like relevancy. Hosky, the thing is like, Hos like they don't, like Hosky's, 
it's not like Cardano people really market Hosky. Hosky's like, I think Hosky is understood to be just a fun coin that's never going to go anywhere. I, I mean, like, yes, I do think VRA has some potential, sure. I mean, uh, they do have to compete somewhat with Theta, and there's a lot of obstacles they have to come around, but they do have the proof of, they do have the proof of view, like, uh, I think, patent, and that might help them in the future. So, yeah, like, coins like that do have potential. BTT, maybe. I mean, people are always going to use BitTorrent. People are always going to use BitTorrent. See people go, well, I'm HBAR now. I just don't see the hype. I, I don't really know how the HBAR hype actually got in there. Like, I, I think people are trying to connect dots. And we know that dot connecting in crypto generally never pans out. Like, the thing is, like, if you really want to, if you actually look at a coin's true potential, you have to take away all the dot connecting. Like, and if you take away all the dot connecting, like a lot of these coins don't, a lot of these coins are just never really going to reach uh, potential. Pundi X, uh, Pundi X is kind of like dead, man. It's, it died a long time ago. Uh, QNT, QNT is actually okay. I mean, I actually like QNT. Um, I still think they have a lot of room to grow. Pundi X died a couple of years ago. Like, remember they were supposed to launch that blockchain phone and it never happened. The thing is, like, not all the banks will use it. I think XRP will actually be used in very small corridors. I don't think it's going to be ever used. I don't really think it's ever going to be used in the primary corridors because they don't really need it. QNT may not be a low cap, but it still has potential to go pretty high. Now, will you get 100x from it? Maybe not. QNT was a low cap a couple of years ago. So, like, if you're going for 100 or 1,000 x, you probably want newer coins. Decentralized data. BTT has been around for a while, though. Like, the, the thing is, like, do you think BitTorrent is actually going to expand in the future? Like, I think BitTorrent reached its height. Like, I think BitTorrent was at its height, like, 15 years ago. Yeah, I had a car accident, but I'm not actually hurt. My car is completely total, so I have to buy a new car now. So, I, I, like, I, I might have to do more hypey videos. Like, I'm still going to do news, but I might have to do more hypey videos to increase my income. So I can, like, so I can just pay off a new car. Radix DLT. What is a, uh, uh, what, like, I've heard of Radix before. I, I have, I forgot what it was, though. I definitely heard of Radix before, but I kind of forgot what it was. Is it XRD? Radix is XRD. Uh, Vault VSL Ali. I can't wait for the September drop. You know, the thing is, I don't know how big the September drop's going to be, though. I think, like, everyone is looking forward to the September drop. So I'm not really sure how big it's actually going to be. I make great gains for Pundi. Yeah, but my car's not worth very much. Like, my, my, I mean, I have a $1,000 deductible, so I'm going to get probably, like, 9 k for my car. But the thing is, like, that's going to be good for a down payment. But, like, I still don't want to buy, like, I don't want to buy anything above, like, 30 k And, like, I can't get a good car above 30 Yeah, it's my fault. It's my fault. This time it was my fault. Last time, like 10 years ago, that guy rear-ended me on the highway. But this time it's my fault. GPTC on Grayscale can't find a bottom. I don't really know how much that actually has to do with it. No, I, I, I don't really see VET reaching a dollar before July 2023. Well, the thing is, Big E32, that might not actually be true. And the reason why I don't think that that could actually not be true is because, like, you know, crypto basically is following the stock market. And if the stock market dips in September, crypto will dip in September as well. Cars are really expensive, so this is a really bad time for me to have an accident. I will buy a RAV4, but, like, they don't have any of the base models. Like, the cheapest RAV4 is, like, 45 grand right now. So I do have car insurance. Yes, they will, like, I have collision insurance as well. So they will pay me the value of my car. It'll make my insurance go up by like 30, 40%, but they will pay me the value of my car. What are you thinking about the student loan payoff? It's not honest to people who just paid off their loan. Yeah, but you know, the thing is, if you're going to give like businesses, like you're, if you're going to forgive PPP loans of hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars to individuals and businesses, I don't mind them forgiving loans of student uh, of students. Because like if you get students out of debt, then they're more free to like do things. BTT is cross-chain agnostic. They just 100x the supply because there wasn't enough. I mean, I needed the car to actually run. I actually do drive a lot. I can't just buy a crap car that like is going to break on me at any time. BTT is cross-chain agnostic and they just 100x the supply because there wasn't enough tokens where they want to accomplish. It already hit before the token redomination. Yeah, but the thing is there's a lot, but there is a lot of tokens right now. And the thing is like, 
uh, like BTT depends on BitTorrent. And it is one of the biggest torrent platforms, but how much will it actually expand right now? BitTorrent's not nearly as popular in the United States as it used to be. Like, like I said, BitTorrent's height was like 15 years ago, not right now. Oh, dude, I'm not taking a predatory lending. Like, if anything, I'm just going to take a loan from my parents. Like, my, my, my parents have already said, like, if you really need to, you can just take our RAV4. I'm like, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about just taking their RAV4 right now because I do actually need it. And like, because they've been wanting, they, I, I think they want to buy a new one anyways. But we'll see. I think VET and ADA should switch market caps. I don't really think so. I mean, like, ADA has a much bigger community. Like, VET definitely, like, VET is definitely more of a finished product. Two point, like, VeChain 2.0 or not, VET is definitely way, way more of a finished product than ADA is. But, like, ADA has a much bigger community. No, no, no. I know there are people. There are people using BTT because there are people using BitTorrent. As long as there's people using BitTorrent, there will be BTT users. I'm not saying there's no users of BTT. Like, like I said, as long as people are using BitTorrent, they will use BTT. But the thing is, like, are they actually going to expand? Is the thing. I, like I said, I think Bitcoin. I think Bit BitTorrent hit its peak about 15 years ago. Like, how much can they actually expand? That's what I want to know. Not, is anyone using them right now? Of course people are using BTT. And no, BTT is not going to go to zero. It'll always have some use because BitTorrent is still fairly big in like other countries. But like, if you ask anyone in the chat, I don't think BitTorrent's nearly as big now as it was like 15 years ago. Yaris is pretty low priced, but it's also too small to fit all my crap. They do need to keep innovating. They do need to keep innovating, but it's not only that. Like, the, the thing about BitTorrent is, like, stuff like iTunes kind of killed them. Because, like, if, if you lower the price significantly enough, people will stop torrenting in the United States. I meant lending to students that can never pay it back. So, I, I do actually think, like, in my opinion, they should make qualified student loans. They should base your loans on, like, how likely you are to pay back the loans after college. I, I do think there should be a tax-free uh, payment period for most students. But the thing is, like, I think, like, they also have to keep a track of your grades in college. And if a person is failing out, they should definitely just terminate the loan or something. So there needs to be qualifications for loans. Also, like, also, like, student loans are kind of BS because student loans are actually, like, the main reason that college costs are so high right now. Because, like, be because, like, since, like, anyone can get a loan, everyone wants to go to college. And that basically just drives up the price. So I, you know what America should do? America should actually promote like promote like trade schools more and like apprenticeships more. Not everyone needs to go to college. Like going to college might be a status symbol, but not everyone needs to go to college. What's the cheapest new small car you can get in the US? Probably the Yaris. So like I think people are looking at it all wrong. I don't think most people I don't think a lot of people need to go to college. If they if you can get an apprenticeship or if you can be like study to be an electrician or something, that's perfectly fine. Free, yeah, I think, I, I personally think community college should actually be free. I think that should be covered under taxes. Why don't the other countries owe us any money after the inventions we've made? They kind of bought it from us. And also, like, many of our, cor many of our inventions are made, I think many of our inventions are, are made by corporations, actually. And corporations want to expand overseas, so those inventions just, those inventions just get over there anyways. I don't know other country, um... I don't think like I don't think free community college is a bad idea. That like a, a lot of the look a lot of the trademarks and inventions are like from private industries. I think I think Orion is a potential 50x Orion protocol. It's untracked. Um are you like what what's the symbol for Orion? We need to allow bankruptcies to run their course and poorly let poor... Yeah, I, I think so too. I do think so. I, I think a lot of Europe has free community colleges. I, I Look, I agree with free community colleges. And I think like in-state schools should be very, very cheap. Like in-state schools are incredibly expensive right now. That's complete BS. Yes, Happy is still around and there are clients actually using Happy. There are definitely clients still using Happy. Yeah, you can't protect everyone from bankruptcy. CSC might be a hundred casino coin. I don't know. I don't really believe in casino coin, but I mean, I, I mean, if you have news on it that says it's going to go up, maybe I don't know. Uh, VBS or Kronos network? Isn't Kronos the network for Crypto.com? That might have some potential. 
would that uh, that would entail stopping those bailouts of those companies? But yes, look, the thing is, if they can bail out those companies for millions of dollars, they can afford to give student loan forgive student loans. Okay, like if Marjorie Taylor Greene can get a PPP loan of over one hundred eighty thousand dollars forgiven, I don't mind like a regular student getting like ten thousand dollars forgiven. Like, there's no justification that, like, someone like her can get, like, so much forgiven, and then she's complaining about, like, a student getting, like, $10,000 forgiven. Yeah, it is very hard to have capitalism without bankruptcy. That is true. That's definitely true. I think, like, no, like, I think for certain torrent speeds, you do actually need the coin to use BTT. Look, uh, Big E32, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, BTT will always be in use. Because there are going to be, there are going to want people that are going to want premium service on BitTorrent. But like I said, the popularity of BitTorrent is nowhere near what it was 15 years ago, at least in the U.S. That's my main concern about BitTorrent, not like whether people are going to use BitTorrent or not. Think EGLD will survive bear market? Elrond, yeah, I think so. Like, I think they need to keep on innovating on Meyer and like make up like and start like producing new things. Because like Meyer was a huge hit about a year and a half ago. No problem, man. Tell your friends about it and tell them to come onto the stream. I need as many, I do need as many viewers as cryptos are us, and then I can buy a good new car. Because like, even if I don't have any donations and I get like 3,000 viewers on my stream, the new car will not be a problem. Hell, I might even do a stream with a cat mask if I get 3,000 3, viewers. I, I agree with you. I don't think you can actually have capitalism without bankruptcy. And the thing is like, if you don't allow companies to go broke, if you don't actually allow companies to go broke, um, you know, like they're never really going to learn their lesson. That's the problem. Uh, CSC is 12 million market cap. It's a small project, but they have live product, four new partners. Yeah, I mean, like th those are the, those are the, um, I think I just have a bad taste of CSC in my mouth from like years ago, but those are actually the, but those are the coins you're actually looking for. I, I will agree with you. I definitely will agree with you. Those are the kind of coins you're looking for. Thanks for the donation, man. Thanks for the donation, Russell Hawkins. That really helps, especially since I'm trying to buy a new car without like taking a huge amount of loans. Wonder if a lot of these coins in top 50 will go broke and stop developing. Um, you know, I think some of them will. I don't know about top 50, but some of the, like the smaller the project is, the more likely it's going to go broke and stop developing. No, I don't think XRP will 100 or 1,000 uh, X. Look, if you're looking for 100 or 1,000 X, stop looking at like top 10 coins. XRP might get, your, might get you like a 10 or 20 X, but like a, in a bull run. And that's with the lawsuit settled. But the thing is like, if you're looking for 100 or 1,000 X, you shouldn't look for top 10 coins. You need to reach down in much, much further down if you want the 100 X. You think, uh, what do you think of Binky Finance? DeFi is Avalanche. So Avalanche actually has a problem right now with like, uh, it's like how people view it. Cause like some people actually do believe the information put out that like it was trying to like uh, basically do hits on other cryptos. HBAR, look, look, if HBAR really becomes big, it'll be a much better ROI than XRP will. But you know, like I think a lot of the, I do actually think a lot of the HBAR stuff is actually hype though. Pulse chain is shitting it'll get big. It, it you know the thing is, I'm pretty sure Richard Hart will do it somehow. Thanks, man. Thanks for the donation. Thanks for the donation. 10x from this point would look, if you're looking for 10x, then you can go for like top 20 coins. Because I I I know. Thanks, man. Thanks for the donation. Like, I know for a fact, I know for a fact that like some of these big coins will go 10x. Because think about, thanks, man. Thanks for the donation. Um, think about uh, think about what Bitcoin did from the bottom like bitcoin literally went from three thousand bitcoin went from like three thousand to sixty thousand so even bitcoin did a 20x last time and right now i wouldn't really be surprised if bitcoin did a 10x from right now i don't think it will but i would not be surprised if bitcoin did a 10x from like its current price not from the last all-time high because literally bitcoin did a 30x for, from the last all time, from the last low. And if we drop to 17.5K, a 10X is only 175,000, which is not an unreasonable number to actually expect for Bitcoin. So if you're looking if you're looking for 10X, you can go pretty safe. But if you're looking for 100 or 1,000X, you cannot be that safe. I don't know if South Park has made any episodes about cryptos, but like I said, like if you're looking for 100 or 1,000X, like uh, 
If you're looking for 100 or 1,000 X, like you can't really be that safe. Like I said, like you know, the thing is, if you're holding on to ADA and XRP and hoping for 100 X, you're not going to get it. Like you'd be, you'd be hard pressed to get 20 X from those coins. Like as much as I like ADA, 20 X would be $10 for ADA. And I think that's kind of its cap. 20 X from XRP would be like $6. And I do actually think like that's pretty hard for it to get regardless of what happens with the settlement. They made an NFT part of an episode. Nice, nice. Wonder if Wells will pump altcoins instead of Bitcoin because market cap is too big. Um, the, the thing is, like, they're gonna pump Bitcoin as well because Bitcoin's used as the index. Thanks, S three. Thanks for the donation. Thanks, man. Thanks for the donation. I see Luna C collapsing. No, I'm almost sure that Luna C will collapse in the future. I'm I'm almost sure Luna C will collapse in the future. But how long until it collapses? That's the real question. EOS uh, got new management and they have like new, like a new vision and stuff. That's why they're going up. I think they made an NFT diss episode by now. The OG harmonica. I still have the ocarina, but uh, I actually don't know how to play the freaking ocarina. I mean, I don't know how to play the harmonica either. So I guess it didn't really matter. Shouldn't we technically just go all in in top 20 alt since they will outperform BTC? Well, some of them, I think like at least one or two in the top 20 is going to drop out. But I think if you go like with an index of top 20 alts, I think they will outperform BTC in the next bull run. However, we might not be done with a bear market and they're going to underperform BTC in the bear market. So like it's really about how well can you time the bottom if you're looking at it from that perspective. If you're looking at it from that perspective, it's about how well you can time the bottom. Thanks, man. Thanks for the donation. Also, like, watching South Park to predict the future is probably not a great idea. I know a lot of people are all about that. I think we have more down to go. I mean, possible, possible, definitely, because September is usually a bad month for market. But, you know, there's no guarantee of that. It's not like there's a rule written in stone that September must be crappy. Rose? I don't have any... No, I do not actually have any algo news. Do not have any algo news, unfortunately. Oasis Network? I've heard of Oasis before. Um... 325 million, still not that big. So it does have room to grow. Like what projects are on, what projects are on Oasis network? So it's a scalable layer one blockchain network. So here's the thing. There are a lot of, there are a lot of layer one blockchain networks. Does it have decentralization? Does it have scalability? And does it have um, security? You had to ask those three and what projects are on your layer one? Because a layer one without projects on it is kind of useless. So you really got to do you really got to you really got to do a deep dive into the ecosystem if you're going to invest in other layer 1 projects. Rose partner with Meta? Let me actually check. I, I thought Meta was kind of dead. I thought I mean I I don't have look, I'm just going to say this. I don't have very high hopes for Facebook's metaverse. I really don't. So, yes, there was a, there was an Oasis partnership with Meta, but I don't really believe in Meta. So I'm not really sure about this partnership because I don't really believe in Meta. A lot of donations. No, that's just because I just, no, I'm getting a lot of donations because I destroyed my car and I need money to buy a new one. So technically I need like $40,000 in donations, but obviously like I have, I have my own money that I can pay the car with. But like if I get $40 a day for like several months, that'll definitely help obviously. The cryptocurrency, so yeah. So the thing is, Rose actually is partnered with uh, Metaverse. So the cryptocurrency market is set to end the week in positive fashion despite its four start, blah, blah, blah. This is from like, this is actually from like last month. Bitcoin remains the market leader, stuff like that, yes. Dent and Block will definitely 100x. I don't really know about Dent. Like, Dent's that mobile thing. So I, I, I don't know like if they've actually extended. I don't know exactly what Block is. How about a crotch rocket? What the hell is a crotch rocket? I was going to incorporate some funds. I mean, like, Rose is actually, Rose is kind of a moonshot. I mean, they are partnered with Meta, but I don't really believe in the Metaverse, so yeah. Motorcycle? No, nah, I'm not a motorcycle guy. And plus, like, motorcycles aren't really good for carrying a lot of gear. Save Haven might even do even decent coin. No, I think SHA would be one of my top moon bags because I think SHA is actually a pretty good project. They actually have a product, which is very different from like other like moon bags. You have, you have to buy Toma Dodge from the website right now because they're not actually released yet. So the thing, the other thing for Toma Dodge is like, like sometimes these coins have a big dip after they launch. So I, you could try to wait for that, honestly. 
But I mean, like if you want to buy like say 500 bucks of Tomodage, I would buy 250 right now from the website and then buy like another 250 after it launches and see if they dip or not. I mean, there's always the chance that they actually dip and you can actually pick up good coins at that point. You know, the thing about, you know, the thing about the XRP, the, the thing about XRP is like they're getting smart contracts finally and not really via flare, but via hooks. So, you know, like I would, because XRP has, has a bunch of, it's a, like the, the problem with XRP is they don't actually have a good developer community. They have a bunch of, they have a huge moon boy community, but having a huge moon boy community means they might actually buy into, they might actually buy into community projects a lot. So if XRP comes out with community projects, I would actually keep a watch out for that and maybe pick up some of the XRP community projects. Cause like people like those, the XRP army could actually FOMO into them pretty hard. Now I don't really know like what projects are, what big projects are going to be on XRP ledger. But I do think like the ledger can actually, uh, once they get smart contracts, like they can actually, like once they get smart contracts, they can actually like have some pretty decent projects on there because they do actually have the scaling to do so. What are my thoughts on Cody? I mean, it's one of those other small caps that like if Cardano, like if Cardano pumps up, I think Cody will pump back up. Lux Luxo, it was really, really hyper like a year ago. I don't really know what happened to Luxo now. The Dejed payment system for ADA? What about the Dejed payment system for ADA? The thing is, like, I'm I I'm not a huge fan of Dejed because it's like it's kind of it's an algorithmic crypto, and I'm not a huge fan of algorithmic cryptos, right? But the thing is, they actually might need it just for DeFi purposes. And it's gonna be over collateralized, so they're a little bit better than algorithmic cryptos. I mean, they, CSC is on the XRP ledger. They kind of like ditched their own protocol and went on the XRP ledger uh, several years back. But I, I'm looking for like fresh new projects. Uh, I, I'm definitely looking for fresh new projects. Like once they once they actually have smart contracts, like full, fully uh, embedded smart contracts and everything. So they can actually have like potential for XRP like ledger projects. Is Tomadoge ERC? I think Tomadoge, let me check. I'm pretty sure Tomadoge is ERC20. Do you think more people will qualify for home loans if their loans are reduced or forgiven? Yes, but I don't really know if I would actually forgive home loans because you're actually buying an asset. So I'm not really sure if I would actually be in favor of forgiving that. Uh, but I do think they should put the collapse on predatory lending because not everyone is ready to buy a home, nor should everyone go to college. Like, I like, the, like the government should really, really cr crack down on predatory lending. That's what I think they really need to do. Oh, I think like, yeah, I do think like maybe more people will buy homes if their student loans are forgiven. That's true. Yeah, like solid assets have value. So I'm not in favor of forgiving home loans at all. And plus you're generally buying the home off someone else. If So, so like you're generally buying the home off someone else. So like you'd have to pay the other person the full value of the house. Otherwise you're kind of, you're just screwing the other guy. What if you want to be safe on alt? Stick to BTC, ETH, ADA, Dot, and Atom. Sure. How the decks? How would a dex look like an XRP? Did you know that there's already an XRP dex? It's been there for a long time. It's just that no one uses it. What do I think about the Donovan Mitchell trade? Good for Utah. Good for you. I mean, I think it's good for Utah. They just piled a lot more assets, and good for Cleveland too. They. Act, I mean, that's really the only way they can get a star is by basically trading overpricing. The devs make all time new all time high. Yeah, top three. You don't believe in Dot and Atom? I, it's not that I don't believe in them. Like, I actually believe that the projects on Dot and Atom would actually have more value than Dot and Atom themselves. I do think, like, I mean, like, I would look very carefully at ecosystem projects on Dot and Atom instead of Dot and Atom themselves. Because, like, I, I, don't, I don't know if I really like the tokenomics of Dot and Atom. But, like, the ecosystem projects can be very, very interesting. Payday loan restrictions have made a ton of advances across multiple states, but Trump's controller of currency preempted them by saying that one state allowing them can ruin everyone they want. Yeah, look, payday loans need to have like a lot of restrictions. They de like payday loans definitely need to have a lot of restrictions. They'll use that money to invest in NFT and metaverse. God, I hope not. If they if they actually try to use that money to invest in NFT and metaverse, then I am so I am very very much forget against like them forgiving the loans. Look, I do actually believe that if you're a young person, you actually, I do believe that if you're a young person, you do actually need to go into like, look at hard assets, definitely. Uh, confused why Matic has been running up so hard. 
Wisconsin needs to add payday loan restrictions. Wisconsin is super weak on that. Yep, I'm not about to go for a payday loan because they can that that will ruin me for life. Moon ra- Moonbeam on my radar. Moonbeam is one of them on my radar because like Moonbeam, like Uniswap will deploy deploy on Moonbeam sooner or later. Why is USD strong again? Other currencies even uh, we are high because other currencies are in way higher inflation. And the thing is, the U.S. economy isn't nearly as bad as the other economies. Like if you look at China, if you look at Japan, if you look at like Europe, they're way way worse off than the United States right now. School loans are predatory. No, the, the problem. No, the problem with student loans is that you can't get rid of them via bankruptcy. And student loans are like one of the main reasons why tuition is so damn expensive. That, that's the problem. Like they need, they they actually need to do a better job of like who can get student loans. They can't make them so easy. Like right now, like all the coins are dependent on macro. Alabama allows massive APR loans, but you can't have more than five hundred out, and you can't have more. Okay. I mean, look. That's why the price. The, like, that's why the price of education has gone up so much, especially for in, especially for in-state tuition, which I find absolutely ridiculous. Like in-state tuition should not be that expensive. Out-of-state tuition maybe because like people always have the ability to go in-state, but in-state tuition should not actually be that expensive. I think it's absolutely ridiculous how expensive in-state tuition is. Remember the names they have for some of the crypto communities: Link Marines, H Bar Barbarians, Lunatics. I mean, I, I think the nicknames are fine. But the thing is, like, even people in those communities have to have, like, a grasp on reality. They can't just be like, oh, my coin's going to take over the world. Because obviously your coin is not going to take over the world. Thanks, man. Thanks for the donation. I thought it was below 1 to 1. I, I thought USD to Euro is, like, I thought USD to Euro was below 1 to 1 now. I advise it to investing in cryptos. Do you think? I, I think it's good to actually invest, uh, to get them to invest in like things. I, I would tell them to be careful though. Like, and I would definitely start them with Bitcoin. Uh, next, they need to eliminate crazy expensive school books and just supply cheap Kindle fires for school. Yeah, I actually do agree with that as well. I think like all school books should be on Kindle so I don't have to like mess with all the paper stuff. It's crazy to borrow 50000 to work a $20 an hour job. I mean, it's the potential that people are borrowing for. But if you're taking a crazy amount of loans for school, you should not go and major in underwater basket weaving. They should just put all education online, at least most. The thing is, like, I think there is value to be in person. But, like, I, I distance learning is definitely going to be a thing, especially after COVID. Can I, I can see a world where Link is on an Oracle monopoly. I can sort of see that, but I think projects are also going to have their own Oracles as well. You reckon Solana will make ATH again without the VC packing or will they move to Aptos and Sai? So isn't Sam Bankman fried heavily backing Aptos? I don't know if he's planning to move to Aptos or not or will he continue to support a Solana? I'm not exactly sure how much money he actually has in Solana. Underwater basket weaving is obviously like the exa- like a, a, a hyperbole example that everyone uses. Like I don't think anyone actually majors in that. But like the thing is like America does have a lot of liberal arts majors and sometimes those people have a really hard time finding jobs. Like look, I think peop- I think America would actually do very well if it actually emphasized like actual like uh, OTJ training, like on the job training. I think America definitely should emphasize like on the job training more than anything else. It, or or like even like trade schools. And what is good wallet for my ADA? Um I think CC wallet's okay. Uh, Daedalus is okay if you want the full node, but most people don't want the full node. And also, like, you know, political science, I mean, I mean, if you're going into law school, poli sci is fine. But if you're just majoring in political science, you should probably have a backup. Engineering is a great major. Like, computer science is a great major. Like, the hard sciences are pretty good majors as well. But the, the thing is, like, you do need to have a plan of work. Like, I think, like, when you apply for a student loan, they should actually make you give a plan for what the hell you're going to do after graduation. And they should actually base part of what, whether you get the loan on that, whether you, get, uh, whether you get the loan based on that. Because, like, if you're just some dude who's like, I want to party in school, then I'm just like, dude, I'm not giving you a loan to party in school. Uh, at Barristas. The, the thing is, like, you don't need a poli sci major to actually run for office is the thing. Applied science is very useful. Like business is kind of like sometimes it's useful, sometimes it's not. You know, you should just go all in on ADA and scrap Bitcoin since ADA should just make all ATH again. 
I mean, if you believe in ADA that much, if you believe in Charles that much, sure, go right on ahead. I mean, I actually think ADA will do very well, but but like in anything in like anything in investing, it pays to be very very well diversified. It pays to be it pays to be very very well diversified for sure. Because like I don't think there's a reason not to diversify in crypto. That's my but that's just my opinion. I do not think there's a reason to not to diversify in crypto. I think you're only harming yourself if you don't diversify into crypto. all in last yeah like a lot of people went all in on stuff and now they're just like screwed so i the all in, i i am not a huge i am definitely not a huge fan of the all in strategy definitely not a huge fan of the all in strategy uh make them responsible for money they borrow and well i mean you can't make them prove like you can't make them prove things in the future so like make making them prove that they'll actually get a job out of college like that's not possible but i would like have them like i would actually like see like what kind of plans they have though hey piano olympics no like look, look people that only buy one coin in crypto i don't think they're the, I, I don't think they're thinking straight like they're like my coin's gonna moon and there's no doubt about like zero doubt like anyone who says zero doubt in crypto is like completely like they're they're not thinking straight. People who are who say zero doubt in crypto are not thinking straight. Any project can fail at any time in crypto. So like the thing is like you can't you can't be like one of those zero doubt people. That that's just being stupid at this point. Got into UFO and Gala to start my gaming coins. Okay, okay. I think Cardano will be a couple of bucks in two years, honestly. Some people want all in on Celsius too bad. Yeah, like, look, any company in crypto can go bankrupt at any time. Like, the, the whole thing about, like, I believe in this X coin, so I'm going to go all in. Don't do that. That That's actually really stupid. Don't do not do that. Don't do that. So average annual income for, I think it's like 40-something thousand. But for, for non-college grads, it's like 27. It's an American right to piss away college. We have the choice to fail. That is a good thing, Democratic. Uh, space Karen, you're right, but you do not have the right to waste someone. You you do not have the right to waste someone else's money to actually go to college. Okay, like if you want to pay your own way through college, have at it. If you have fifty thousand dollars to waste, if you have fifty thousand dollars to waste to piss through college, have at it. I have no problem with that. Or if your parents have fifty thousand dollars to waste on you, have at it. I have no problem with that. But if you're actually getting like a student loan, that's if you're actually getting a student loan and you may not be able to repay it. That affects other people. Pancake swap, it won't learn about it well, because it's called pancake swap. But pancake swap, isn't pancake swap the main swap of Binance though? Alex stopped, lied up to the day he stopped withdrawing. I mean, look, okay, Mashinsky's a, 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 a Mashinsky's a douchebag. I mean, like, there's no there, there's no question about that. I mean, like, no one's gonna stand here and defend Alex Mashinsky. Is there any altcoin that can reach its all-time high while BTC not? Example, ETH can reach its all-time high with merge. Um, I mean, yes, but like ETH obviously didn't reach its all-time high. But I think like but like but I think it's going to be very few coins that can reach its all-time high without BTC going. The the benefit of diversifying is selling the one that is going up and investing in the one that is dropping on own different investments. It works. Yes. I mean, it's going to be hard to regulate it. That's why, like, before you get a college loan, they need to have, like, hard interviews. I, I definitely think they need to have hard interviews before you give, like, a large college loan. And, the, and like, the, 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 like, I think, like, the, the bigger the loan, like, the more intricate the interview needs to be. I think ETH will still pump right before we merge. I don't think so. I think the ETH pump is done. I definitely think, like, the ETH merge is done. I think education should not cost this much. No, I look, look, I think, I don't think education should cost this much, but one of the main drivers of education cost is the fact that loans are so easy to get and everyone can get a loan. That just basically erupts the demand for education for a lot of people that honestly don't need it because like a certificate's like a, a symbol of like, I guess something or other now. ETH dump on the other hand could, no, an ETH dump will most definitely happen. Like like I said, I wouldn't buy ETH right now for un, for above eight hundred dollars. I would not buy ETH right now for above eight hundred bucks because I don't think that's a good deal to buy ETH for above eight hundred dollars. 
Why isn't BlockFi facing the same scrutiny that Celsius is facing? Not really sure. Not really sure. ETH under $800 would be a good deal. Yeah, it, it definitely might be, but like, I definitely think the mer I think the merge is going to have problems. And because I actually think the merge is going to have problems, I think e there's going to be pitfalls for ETH all over the place. BlockFi, I think, uh, yeah, SBF wanted to buy out BlockFi. And Voyager's got SBF support as well. Celsius, S SBF didn't even want to touch Celsius. Yeah, um, BlockFi got saved by the FTX guy, yes. But but the thing is, like, Sam Bateman fried didn't want anything to do with Celsius. He said, like, the assets in Celsius were way too toxic. I'm paying for the pro version of the State Top 5 Diamond League. March 2020 ETH at $90. Now at $1, I don't understand why they need to buy it at all at that price. I mean, I don't think, obviously, I don't think ETH is going back to $90. They're going to push the merge out for sure. But the thing is, like, if the merge catastrophically fails after it's pushed out, I mean, it's going to be really bad. It's gonna be it's gonna be like really really bad. You know, I, I actually just might end up taking my parents' offer for their old Rav Four. I I could actually use it. Their Rav Four is pretty good, and buying one like it would like buying like a Rav Four like theirs would cost me like twenty k. Oh, my thoughts on XRP. Look, I actually don't think XRP is garbage, but I don't think it's obviously I don't think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. I do think you can make money from it, but not really that much money. I, I don't think like the adoption is ever going to drive it to triple digits or quadruple digits. I think it's going to be hard for XRP to break double digit dollars. It will be bad either way. If it succeeds, then it will buy the rumor, sell the news. And, and the thing is, like, if you're looking at if you're looking at remittances right now. Like, I think XRP's main market is remittances. And, and the thing is, if you look at remittances, like, you know, one, like a trillion dollars a year, that's like $3 billion a day. Considering how much you actually have in escrow, uh, considering how much you have in escrow, I really don't think that's going to affect the price all that much. Like, that's the problem with a lot of crypto projects, XRP, VeChain, a lot of them. Like, their industrial use, their industrial use case, their, their industrial use case is really not going to affect the price for a very long time. Like my, my parents have an old RAV4 with only like 80K miles. I'm just like, I could just take that one because they, they, like, they, they kind of offered it. They're like, you can just take that car. But I would have to go, I would have to go back to St. Louis to actually pick it up. And I'm not really sure how, how the hell I would get to St. Louis. Yeah, I'm looking for a use. I'm looking for, but I need, I need, I drive like 15, 16,000 miles a year. So I need something that's dependable. There is, I think there is one bank, Travel X, I think is uh, using ODL right now. Like they're, they're more of a foreign exchange, but they are technically a bank. So they are using ODL right now. Yes, the RAV4, I do indeed know drives well. 100x coin, we talked about Safe Haven, SHA, and other people brought up a couple of other coins that could possibly 100x. Like you're looking for low cap coins that actually have products right now. So like, like someone did bring up BitTorrent, but BitTorrent I don't think is a low cap. Do you think Moonbeam is a good project? I think they have, I do think they have some merits and they do actually have potential, yes. It's worth an expensive taxi ride. I would just buy a train ticket, honestly. Well, I mean, I, I don't have a car for the next week or so because I'm waiting for my, I'm actually waiting for my insurance company. I'm, I'm definitely, I'm waiting for my insurance company um, to actually uh, pay me for, like, give my, give, give me money for my, for, for the car that just got totaled. I don't, 
you know, I personally don't see double digit V chain. I mean, like if V chain reaches two or three bucks, you should probably sell and uh, hook, uh, uh, basically hook onto another project. Like people that are saying like double or triple digit V chain, they're they might actually be wishing for things that never happen. So like realistically, if V chain gets to a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, you should definitely sell and probably go with a newer project uh, for more uh, for better ROI. You could also probably rent a car. Just make sure you tell them your drop off location. I'm actually thinking about it. Like I could lease a car for the time being. I think VeChain can break a dollar in the next bull run. I mean, I don't really know what your... Uh... I, I, don't, I, I don't really know um, what you're basing your 60 cents at most on. Is it possible if they burn 50% of the VET supply? They're not going to burn 50% of the VET supply. They are not going to burn 50% of the VET supply. Dude, like YouTube needs to track people like those and just ban everything and just ban everything associated with them. It's basically a trademark technology with logistics. Uh, I am late to the stream. So look, my thoughts on XRP is like, it might be like a decent investment, but it's not going to get you like those moon numbers that people are hoping for. The thing is like XRP is way too high a market cap and stuff like Shane Ellis theory just really can't work in a dynamic market at all. Like realistically, if YouTube came to me with an offer to just like track guys like that, so they can like basically like nuke all their email addresses and stuff, I would definitely just like partner with them to do that. Coins that have been in Binance since the start are going to pump hard. I'm not really sure. Look, th th there is look, there is some tr there it, there could be some trouble with small coins though. If you really look at Congress, they're actually cra cracking down on the exchanges and making them list why they list like each coin. There's not as much dot as ADA. Um, the supply for dots much smaller. That's why. Dude, that's, that's probably either Michael York or David Debian. One of those two sorry losers. Is Web3 the hype project? Web3, I think, is more of like a buzzword than anything else. I, I definitely think like Web3 is uh, more hype than anything else. Because ADA have 45x token supply of DOT. Yeah, so, so the thing is, like, the supply does matter. The market cap does matter. Like, the thing is, like, a lot of the, like, a lot of the maxis, like, have made up this pretend world where market cap doesn't matter. But market cap definitely matters. Like market cap definitely matters. I don't know if there's any, I don't really know if there's anything new for DOT. Like the people that say market cap doesn't matter are just like the, the ones that don't want to like face reality. And like they basically just keep on wanting to believe that their coin can go to quadrillions in market cap. That's not going to happen. Especially if you're one of the big coins that's listed across multiple exchanges. Say MC don't matter because they think the government will... Look, no one's going to buy back their coin at 37K. That's like asinine. That, that's that's just not going to happen. There's no like real evidence for that. Like no one's like no one's going to buy back your asset. Like it's not going to be... It's not going to be the goal. Like XRP is not going to be like the global reserve or anything. Like it could be... I think it's going to be used for like... Cor like um, I think it's going to be used for like a corridor, like smaller corridors.
I do think it's going to be used for smaller corridors. Go one on trading view. Um, people say MC. Ton, nothing is new for DOT. Well, the thing is, like, I mean, we've actually discussed DOT before. I do think, I do actually think most of DOT's value is in the parachains. And and the thing is, like, some of those parachains might actually do 100x. They start out really small. But the, if you get a parachain, you do actually get, like, you, you do actually get some noticeability. You do actually get some noticeability. I mean, my folks have been trying to like give me the RAV4 for a while because they don't really want it. So I might just go down and take the RAV4. Ripple maybe have a good tech, but XRP token is needed for those to run. No, it, XRP token isn't really needed for those to run. The, the thing is like most of their bigger partners don't really use it. But, but it's not only that. But it's not only that, like, I think for the more liquid corridors, there's really no need for any, I don't think there's any need for any intermediary token. Like I said, like, their base, their base market is actually remittances. And even if they end up taking over the whole market, that's like $3 billion a day. Did, like, seeing how much they actually have in escrow, I, I don't think that will actually impact the price all that much. Dude, um, Lepaldo, they're basically saying 37k because, like, that's like, I guess that's how much like the the value of the United States monetary system is worth. But come on, man. Who's like, I mean, like you got to be really dumb to actually, you, you got to be stupid to believe in that. I mean, seriously. I mean, if you just like work through the logic in your head, if you really just work through the logic in your head, that just, it doesn't work. It legit doesn't work. My parents are actually very well off, so they're fine. Well, I mean, look, look, you have to believe that market caps don't really matter to actually believe you can get to that much. You have to believe that the government has some secret plan to use XRP for everything to actually believe you can get to that much. And you have to believe that they will actually buy it back from you for 37K. Because it's not going to, like, XRP is never going to 37K for market factors, obviously. It might like, yeah, I think 10x for XRP is very much reachable. For those of you that are wanting anything up to $10, I think that's very much reachable. But the thing is, like, I think beyond $10, you're basically looking at a price that's really not all that reachable. You're Like beyond 10 bucks, you're really looking at a price that's really not that reachable. I think 50, I even think 50x is actually really pushing it. I would say like maybe 30x would be the maximum. I can't name one decentralized killer app for general consumers, only useful for voting systems and finance. I don't think there is a decentralized killer app for general consumers right now. I don't think that exists. So I don't blame you for not finding it because I don't think there is one. And the thing is, like, if you're an XRP investor, you definitely need to diversify. You can't, you cannot just put all your money in XRP. That is a really bad way to invest. And honestly, it probably shouldn't even be your biggest holding. If you want ROI, if you actually want good ROI. VET to a dollar and 88 to eight dollars, and I'm done with the rat race. Yeah, I mean, like, those numbers are actually achievable. They might be hard to achieve, but they're achievable. Those numbers are hard to achieve, but they are actually achievable. Should be smallest holding. I don't know if it should be your sm smallest holding, but if you're want if you're wanting big ROI, you should actually like it shouldn't be your biggest holding. If your if your goal is to go for like a thousand x or hundred x or go to the moon, it should not be your biggest holding. Neither should ADA or any of the others. You should be going for much smaller coins. Like you should be looking at the projects on XRP or the projects that well. Okay, like there should be like, once there are more pro like viable projects on XRP, you should be investing in those, X those viable XRP projects rather than XRP itself.
Same thing with ADA. Like if you're wanting to 100X, you need to look at ADA projects and not ADA itself. Is there a DEX that has both KSM and assets on it? That's sort of a... I think five. Five, five to 10 it should be your diversification for crypto. You can try to buy an index, but I think five to 10 is a, is a good diversification portfolio for crypto. And that should like that, like if, and how you balance that and how you balance the assets in that portfolio uh, will definitely depend on like what your goal is. Like how you balance that portfolio will actually depend on what your goal is for crypto. Look, V Chain can't look. I think V Chain get can get to a dollar the next bull run, um, but V Chain does actually have to develop its ecosystem, and it has to, like the marketing with the UFC stuff is perfectly fine, like market like V Chain marketing with UFC is perfectly fine. Okay, I don't look if you can manage thirty five coins and keep up with all of them. It's not too many. It's really not too many. To my knowledge, there are still more updates needed for working BTC bridges, like for projects. Okay, okay. Moonbeam and Astar, you can yeah, get dot and KSM on Dexas. Same for Moon River. Okay, so the, the thing, look, the, the thing is like, Look, for L1 for L1 chains, you need to look at the projects on L1 chains, okay? Like you need to look at the projects on L1 chains. Like you you can't look at the L like big L1 chains themselves. Like they're almost they're almost tapped out in terms of a maximum value. You you need to look at the projects on them. So like if like for for instance like CSC, I mean I, I'm not a huge fan. I'm actually not a huge fan of Casino Coin, but I'm actually not a huge fan of Casino Coin, okay? But the thing is, like, Casino Coin does actually have, um, I would say, Casino Coin definitely has more like ROI potential than XRP itself, because Casino Coin is actually um, CSC. Like CSC has a much smaller market cap, so it has more room to grow. You got to look at that. VT got to a dollar; it'd be around ninety-nine billion dollars. It's really high, but it's it's not impossible, especially in a bull run. And also, like, if VET got to a, a dollar, it would be 83 billion. There's, there's only 83 billion VET. There's actually only 82 billion because they burned a billion of it. So, like, and not all of it's released. So, realistically, in the next bull run, if VET got to a dollar, it would be 70 billion. So, and the, and the thing is, VET actually got to 26 cents in the last bull run. So, I think triple the last bull run actually isn't that impossible. However, like, I, I think selling VET at 50 cents is perfectly fine as well. I don't think selling VET at 50 cents would be such a bad idea um, just to be safe and invest in something else, you know? Because even VET at 50 cents, you're looking at a 20X from right now. So if you bought right now, sold at 50 cents, you would make 20X, and that could be life-changing money for some people, depending on how much you invest, obviously. There's even a Kala tokens on Moonbeam and Astar. Nice. Like, for instance, for instance, Cardano, I would be looking at, like, um, Ardana and Liquid that's about to come out. Maybe like uh, Occam as well. Those things are about to come out. Those would be like the coin. Those would actually be the coins I would be looking at to see like what they launch at and how much potential they actually have. And the thing is like if you do yield farming, yes, it is a really big risk. But if you yield farm a bunch of coins early and you sell at the right time, you can get that 100x as well. But obviously yield farming induces another layer of risk that people may not want to take. So like... There's always there's there's pros there's definitely pros and cons to like everything essentially definitely pros and cons to everything. Solana can go down to nine dollars, dude. Solana shouldn't even be as high as it is now, man. Like the, the thing is like, but but remember, helium just like he, there are, despite that, helium like helium and other projects are coming onto Solana, so I wouldn't count Solana out. 
because like Solana, like Solana can scale. That's the one thing it can do. It's, it's not really reliable, but it can scale. So like projects that are looking for scaling, Solana is an option for them. Now it wouldn't be my option if I was running those projects, but Solana like could be one of the options. I uh, appreciate it. Yeah. Good night, man. CSC is pumping. I mean, like small coins can pump and dump at any time. I, I mean, like that's, that's really nothing new. So like, so here's the thing for XRP to get to $10, I think it needs to actually build the community. There needs to actually be like projects on the XRP ledger. They need to develop their, they need to actually grow their development community. Cause if you're going to rely on like ODL, you're probably never going to get to $10. Like if you rely on ODL, you are probably never, ever going to get to $10. Uh, these days, look, if you're looking for the hundred X, I would go for, I would look at coins like safe Haven, maybe like something like a uh, Occam or like Ardana or liquid when they come out, I would even look at coins like Toma Dodge for like Toma, Toma Dodge or like maybe, maybe even Luna C, uh, just for like really quick gains. I mean, I mean, theoretically, Peggy Johnson, you're right. Theoretically, all the casinos could use, you could use CSC, but you know, that's a really theoretical thing. Right now, yes, no one's actually buying XRP except for the Moon Boys. You aren't getting what I'm saying. Uh, I know you can go between parachains. The thing is, like, XRP could be at one cent and Ripple could ditch XRP and they'd still be coming up with theories, honestly. Like, those, those guys are pretty much hopeless. I've given up on those guys. Those guys are completely hopeless. And the thing is, like, there's really no flow on the ledger to actually confirm any of their theories, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, Crypto Erie just reported, like, they want uh, they want XRP to be used not only for remittances, but used in robust ecosystems across industries. Like, they do need, like, they do actually need the developer community. So the thing is, like their primary, their primary, uh, their primary um, market is remittances. Like that's where they're they're actually starting from right now. They haven't really conquered that market yet. They're only starting on that market. But I, I do think ODL is mainly for remittances. I don't think it's going to be used for derivatives or really anything else. BNB eighty eight near Algo dot not bad. I think uh, holding a small bag is worth it. I mean, holding a small bag of anything could honestly be worth it. So then I haven't been onto these DEXs in a while and it went over my head, uh, maybe. There are cross, there are actually cross-chain DEXs now though. I, I know that for sure. I know for I know for a fact that there are actually cross-chain DEXs. Now, I, like what those cross, like how good they are, I'm not really sure. Like I know like cross-chain bridges tend to have a lot of problems. So I don't really trust cross-chain bridges, but cross-chain DEXs might be something you want to look at. Uh, also, like, despite the fact that I may not be able to post on YouTube for like full fishing videos, I can actually post a bunch of shorts and I, I can definitely grow my TikTok following for fishing. So like the shorts are actually, the shorts are actually kind of useful. Shorts are definitely kind of useful. Uh, in the computer, I can't search anything on TradingView. I see. Like, doesn't TradingView have like a premium thing now? Maybe they're trying to like promote that. I don't know. I think it's a bad idea though. What does Luna C do? Nothing. Probably pretty much nothing. Like they're trying to develop apps on it, but right now Luna C doesn't really uh, do anything. About um, the most big caps, have you seen Algo's? Wait, does Algo actually have an ecosystem? Like how many projects are actually on Algo? I haven't heard of any big projects on Algo. That's actually what's preventing me from like talking too much about them. No, 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 there is one XRP dev that's worth mentioning, but there's really only one. Like, Wheatswind is the only one that's actually worth happening, worth mentioning. He is actually a pretty good dev, but the, the, you can't run off one dev, obviously. Do you know why these projects come out with so many of a supply? They would do better if all of... Yeah, but the thing is, like, if they come out with the... Co if the coins are scarce, you won't be able to buy many coins. It goes both ways. It actually doesn't really matter at what uh, how many coins they come out with, because the more they come out with, the more you're able to afford. The less they come out with, the less you're able to afford. So it works both ways. 
So like I wouldn't make a collection of just uh, ISO 20022 coins because ISO 20022 isn't going to impact crypto at all. There's going to be like no price impact uh, uh, on that. No, I'm perfectly fine. I, I like I didn't get hurt at all. Like my my accidents tend to just like kind of like wreck the car. I mean, like this is like my only accident where I'm actually at fault. Like the, the, the way I drive and have accidents, like it tends to wreck the car, but it tends not to like hurt me. Because like I'm going like really, really slow and basically it just nicked my front side, but my car is kind of totaled. Luna Classic is like Ethereum Classic now? Sort of, yeah. So it definitely is. Need a fishing, like Gato Fish token, but I'm not really, look, I'm not really interested in making a crypto token myself though. But Gato Fish token, it could be pretty big. No, the car is gone. It's not repairable at all. Like it wasn't worth very much in the first place and it's not repairable, it's gone. I'm going to have to buy a new one or just take my parents' car from like uh, St. Louis. But I have to get back to St. Louis first. I would, I could just take a bus ticket there and then drive back here, I guess. And then like re-register. I don't know how much the re-registration is actually going to cost. Near is interesting, but it's not transparent and tokenomics is really bad. It could be the next Terra. Um, I mean, there's a lot of developers for Near though. That's like, that's actually what I'm looking at for Near. Like, I don't really know about the tokenomics, but there's a lot of developers on the near ecosystem, and that could actually mean something. Still doesn't make sense, too much in supply. I mean, the thing is, like, yeah, I, I think, like, a coin that has too much in supply kind of turns people off. So I don't think you should have over, like, say, like, 100 billion in supply. Helium might actually move on to Solana. That's kind of like what they're voting on right now. Like, do you want, do we want to move Helium onto Solana? That's, that's, that's what the vote is right now. Live, I might actually try to live stream when I'm fishing, but the problem is like the bandwidth. No, ISO 20022 does not have to utilize crypto at all. Look, the metaverse, uh, if you actually read what ISO 20022 is, ISO 20022 is actually just a rich text data format for, for banks and financial institutions to communicate with each other. It is not the only uh, standard there is. So uh, ISO 20022 does not necessarily have anything to do with cryptos. Like if you actually look like, like Matt Hamilton or like Hammertoe, which, which who used to work at Ripple explains it pretty well. It's the people that are constantly pushing hype that are, that want people that want other people to actually believe that ISO 20022 is this amazing thing. But ISO 20022 doesn't have anything directly to do with cryptos. It is a rich text data format that allows financial institutions to talk to each other. That's what it is. <coughs> Basically, if two institutions have high ISO 20022, they can, in, they can initiate a payment. Like it's, be, it's a better communication method between financial institutions. That's really what it is. Like, look, this stuff has been, look, this, this information has actually been available online for a long time. So basically ISO 20022 is basically an open standard for financial information. It's it doesn't have to do like with it doesn't really have to do directly with cryptocurrencies. So is an ISO standard for electronic data interchange um, and financial institutions. It describes metadata repository containing descriptions of messages and business processes and a maintenance process for repository content. It is not actually, it does not actually have much to do with cryptocurrencies in itself. It's basically an EDI interchange format and it's a metadata repository, which allows you to send more informational data. That's really what it is. Like the, the thing is like before you believe, before you believe the hype artist of what like ISO 20022 is, you can actually look it up yourself. Because obviously, if they have an interest in hyping up a coin, they're going to like hype up it all they can. But if you really want real information, you need to actually look at the stuff yourself. And not just like listen to like YouTubers, including myself. Like you, you do actually like you do need to verify all this stuff. You will find you will actually find that a lot of this hype is basically garbage and it doesn't have anything to do with anything. Are all the helium miners use this now? No, I think they said they can turn the miners to, act, to, to, to the new like proof of stake thing. I'm not exactly sure.
Yeah, but a lot of things are partnered with Terra Luna, so I wouldn't really put Nier in the in the bucket, like in the trash bin just yet. And the thing is, Nier does have a lot of developers. No, my parents... Actually, my, my mom has like three Ethereum somewhere, but she kind of lost the keys, and I can't really find them. Like, my, my, my cousin bought some Ethereum from my parents, and... And now, like, and I, and, uh, like, mom's like, I lost the keys, and I don't think he knows where they are either, because I put them somewhere, and I forgot where the hell they were. I'm just like, well, crap, then I can't retrieve them, I guess. But, like, like, you know, like, my mom's not going to sweat over a couple thousand dollars, generally. Like, my parents are not going to sweat over a couple grand. Do, Do Kwan and funders of Nier are best buddies? Yeah, I mean, just because you're friends with someone, I mean, doesn't mean you are them. So, like, I, I'm not going to put him in the to trash bin just yet, you know. I, I still think Nier's a decent project, but, I mean, you might want to keep a close eye on them for sure. I'm sure we've all had friends that are kind of shady and that have done bad things. You'll find them when ETH is worth 10k. I mean, the thing is, like, I, I got to figure out where she put the keys. Because that's like 30 grand if ETH is worth 10k. What MC should Loon C be for it to be Moonbag? I mean, look, Luna Luna Classic's what? Like, if Luna Classic, like, 50x's, then you should you should cash out. If it fishy, if it, it, definitely you should cash out if it 50x's. I don't really have any favorite NFT projects. I think Bored Apes is, like, way, way overpriced. So I, I'm not a huge fan of BAYC so, because I think it's super, super overpriced. But, you know, like, look, look, I mean, like, I don't know if you can say Nier is sussy just because it's founder and Do Kwan were friends. I mean, like I said, we've all had friends that are kind of sussy. I, I think all of us have, have had that experience, right? I'll probably cash out before 50x. I mean, you're fine if you cash out more than, uh, before 50x, obviously. Look, for a coin that I think eventually is going to drop, as long as you're making profit, you're perfectly fine. You are absolutely fine if you're, as long as you're making profit. But no, personally, I don't really have that many favorite NFT projects. Uh, what else is super overpriced from top 100? I mean, I still think Solana is actually overpriced right now. Um, I think BCH and BSV are still overpriced despite where they are because I don't think they really have any purpose. Um, otherwise, like, I don't really know. I mean, like, I think some of the meme coins are, I think Shiba is probably overpriced. But, you know, like, I mean, like, I don't know how strong the community is. Um, some of the others I just don't really know that much about. Like, Mana, I would say it's overpriced, but it's really the only game that's not in, like, ultra beta right now. So I can't really say it's overpriced. Loon C would have to get up to 1 billion MC to consider 50, to 50x. Yeah, but, I mean, Mr. Movie, if you really think about it, though, like, 1 billion MC in a bull run isn't really that much. 1 billion MC in a bull run won't even be top 100. So I don't think it's asking too much, but the bull run might actually not come before Luna C dies altogether. So that's why I wouldn't actually buy any Loon C right now, because the bull run might not come before it dies. Um, I have not met any other crypto cats, because I don't really go to, like, the conventions, the tickets for those conventions are way too expensive. Do you think EOY price of BTC? I'm hoping for around 40k, because, like, if BTC follows the U.S. economy, the U.S. could actually have a bit of a breather towards the end of the year. That's kind of what I'm hoping. What's up with Hot and Veracity? I'm not exactly sure. Like, HOT, I don't think is a thing anymore. Veracity might have some potential. I think HOT, like, stopped being a thing, like, three or four years ago. Like, three years ago. I've never been into meet and greets. I mean, I've definitely met some of my fishing subscribers, but that's because they live close to me. Like, that's legitimately because they live close to me. I hear Baby Doge has 1.5 million holders, more than Shiba. Is that meme coin? I mean, meme coins can explode at any time for whatever reason. So is it ready to explode? I don't, I don't really know, but it could, yeah. Do you trust in which one? Look, I think most of the XRP YouTubers are pretty awful. Like, of the XRP YouTubers, I think, like, Crypto Eri and, like, 
I'm not going to endorse Moon Lambo because he's made some crazy ass th- predictions in the past. But like Crypto Aries is probably the best one out of all the SR- XRP YouTubers because she doesn't come up with like crazy ass theories that can't really pan out. Um, I actually think uh, I think Coffeezilla is okay. I think Coin Bureau is okay. So like those guys, I actually th- I actually kind of like. I think XRP should itself and enable SC. They, no, no, like that's what MD Raihan, that's what hooks is. So they're kind of like getting it via hooks, but at the same time, like they're kind of getting uh, smart contracts via hooks, but I don't really know if that's fully functional uh, um, uh, smart contracts. Like I know they're going to have like NFT, they're going to expand their NFT stuff after hooks though. They're definitely going to expand their NFT stuff after hooks. The thing is, I'm gonna have to. I have to figure out by tomorrow, like what poles, what fishing poles I can actually put in my, uh, in a backpack, and like carry for about five, ten miles. I bet fishermen are much better to meet than crypto men. I mean, fishermen, like okay, most of them tend to be pretty conservative, or GOP, but they don't really like. They don't really bring the politics in when you're fishing. Erie and hammer toe and wheats, basically, yeah. Look, hammer toe, look. Like, and people were like, look, people were dumping on Erie and Hammertoe because they were like pouring cold water on all the ISO stuff and the Fed Now stuff. Obviously, like Fed Now and like Fed Now isn't going to use XRP and ISO 20022 has very little to do with cryptos. And like, that's what like Hammertoe was actually saying. But like, obviously, like the influencers who uh, hype things up for a living don't really like that. Gas fees are much lower, lower now on ETH, yes. I have VET in my portfolio. I still have I still have a little bit of Chainlink. I have um I have Chainlink and I have a couple of others. I have a I have some BAT because I keep on earning BAT like every uh I, I keep earning BAT um like every month. So I have like a couple thousand BAT, which isn't really worth all that much right now. I am not I'm a basketball fan. I'm not as much of a football fan. Uh so like the Donovan Mitchell trade, like I have a lot of comments on. But like, I mean, I, I'm in Wisconsin, so I guess I root for the Packers, but I, I'm not a huge fan of Aaron Rodgers. I mean, like, I think Aaron Rodgers has great ability. I just don't, I think he's kind of a jackass though. Like I'd much rather have a beer with Tom Brady than Aaron Rodgers. Oh yeah, I do have XRP because someone donated 200 XRP to me. So, you know, the thing is, I hope it does go to $37,000, but I know it's not really going to happen. Definitely the hype and hopium does actually need to be ignored to survive the market. I actually think Crypto Erie is the only one that's really worth listening to in the in the XRP verse. And the thing is, like if all if the if all the XRP tubers were like her, like I wouldn't find them so I wouldn't find the XRP army so annoying. Like, if they were more grounded and more in reality. Well, I mean, I have, like, thousands of bat that I get from Brave Browser. I mean, the rewards have definitely come down. And I'm not really sure if they're ever going to... I don't really... Th- sure. I'm not really sure if it's ever going to really amount to anything. I hope it does. But I can't be sure if it's ever going to amount to anything at all. If you're asking about European football, like, true football... No, I'm, I'm not really a football fan because, like... Uh, soccer or foot or true football isn't really a thing in the U.S. I wish it kind of was though. I kind of like sports that don't have commercials. But I have to say that soccer to me is not as exciting as basketball because they don't score enough. I, and I couldn't imagine playing fantasy soccer because, like, yeah, there's like no points or anything. Uh, would you, you should get some quant. Q and T, like, I would consider that. I remember my mom telling me I'm making all this money in XRP. I said the hell. I mean, the thing is like for any coin, if you bought and sold at the right time, you can actually make money. You can definitely make money trading, buying and selling XRP. Sure. Like, but you can do that with any coin. I mean, like I said, like I'm an American and soccer really isn't that much of a thing here. Still haven't got my beef. I'm about to buy some shit coins and forget about this uh, uh, year. Sick of the scalping and all this BS. Yeah, I mean, if you buy some shit coins, like they're, they're really for short-term trades and you have to really pay attention to the price movement because like one small tick could be like 20, 30%.
they do have some like pretty good partnerships, but there's a lot of, there's actually quite a few companies with like, like partnerships, like VeChain has partnerships. Cardano has all those partnerships in Africa and abroad. So there's, there's a lot of companies with partnerships, but partnerships don't move crypto price. And I think people overvalue these partnerships because a lot of times these partnerships don't end up using the coin. Where were you? I, I was at my computer when I heard about Kobe. Remember that Ripple success isn't, that's true. But I mean, like, I mean, it, it obviously plays well for XRP success, but it's not XRP success, yes. Look, I don't really care. I really don't care. Like, I'm not anti-bank. I use a bank myself. Do I love banks? No. But I'm not going to hide all my money under my mattress. So the thing is, like, I, I use banks. I'm not anti-bank. So I'm not going to not invest in a coin just because it's pro-bank, okay? I don't think banks are going anywhere. I don't think they're just going to die, all right? I, I think banks dying is just not going to happen. IOH, I mean, like, I mean, you could kind of say that, but, like, I mean, Cardano needs to develop, like, everything needs to develop its ecosystem, okay? Like, everything um, needs to develop its ecosystem, the thing is, if you're relying on industrial use case only, you're never going to reach the really high numbers. I just don't think that's possible. Not in the next 10 years. I actually use my desktop wall. I use like desktop wallets, like CC wallet and other like C, uh, wallets, like CC wallets. I would learn it from Bruce Lee. I think Bruce Lee was a better martial artist than Chuck Norris. I mean, Chuck Norris is just mainly a meme. Uh, unfortunately, banks and capitalism are intrinsic. Yeah, I, I don't think the country could actually run without banks, honestly. Like, I know a lot of people want to end the Fed. I'm not one of those people. I don't know if you're one of those end the Fed people. I'm definitely not one of those people. Because I think, like, the, the country is actually more stable with the Federal Reserve. Yes, they do some really stupid crap and they print a lot of money, sure. But I think that the country economically is actually a lot more stable with the Fed. Uh, anyone heard of Luna Gems? I have not heard of Luna Gems. I mean, they might want to be trying to play off the Luna thing. Well, the thing is, like, Ripple's company doesn't have to revolve around their digital asset. You realize, like, Ripple, like, people can just use Ripple software without actually using XRP. And that's what most of their partners actually do. Just like, you know, all those private, all those private versions of a Card Cardano they're using in Africa, I don't know if they'll actually benefit Cardano in the future. So, like, I don't really depend on the Cardano stuff in Africa to really pump up the price. Uh, I'm looking at the RAV4, maybe, like, the Crosstrek. There's also this new, like, Corolla crossover. Like, the, the Corolla, um, like, there's a new Corolla that's, like, a crossover as well. So, I'm kind of looking at that. Like, the Corolla Cross. Because, like, Toyota cars, like, last forever. And you know that Corollas last forever as well. But the Corolla Cross, like, I think the MSRP is, like, at least 25K. And, like, you're going to be paying at least 30K for that. Oh, I definitely don't want a societal collapse because I might, I'm might i probably not going to survive through it. Like, I definitely do not want a societal collapse because I might not actually survive through a societal collapse. Is Altura still a thing? I still watch it from time to time. Uh, I, I don't really know what it is, so I'm going to say no, but I, that's because I don't really know what it is. I don't really know. I mean, I, I really wouldn't want to hang out with either of them. I mean, I'd much rather hang out with George or someone else. Yeah, there is a Corolla Cross hybrid. At this point, I'd probably just get the Corolla Cross. It's got enough good, it's got a good enough gas mileage. But like, there's only a 22, 2022 model of a Corolla Cross. Like, you used to be able to get a Corolla for like under 20 grand, like a new one. You can't get one for under 20 grand now, obviously. The, the CRV versions of these cars actually cost a lot more. I don't have a boat and I don't plan on buying one, so I don't really need that. I think the Corolla Cross is like 25K up, but you'd be really, really hard pressed to find one that's at 25K. I wish I could buy one directly from the manufacturer. Like the MSRP, I think is, uh, the MSRP for the L is 22, but I don't think there's anyone, there's, I don't think there's one like around 22.
Like, I think there's one, I can get one around 25. Like, there's a new Corolla Cross in Milwaukee, it looks like, for about 25K. And that's actually not that bad. I'm really seriously considering this. Like the Corolla Cross L. But not every dealer actually has them. I would be a fan of hybrid car, but they do cost a little bit more. Well, I just totaled my car today, so I will be riding my bike for like the next two weeks. Like, there's a plenty of fishing spots around Madison. I just have to not break my fishing poles. I'm, I don't really want the, I'm not really targeting the hybrid. I'm really not, I'm not targeting the, I'm not targeting the hybrid. I'm targeting just the regular one. What do you think on average or low BTC might sit at in October? I, I, it might crash to like 17K in September and then hopefully go up to like 25 in October. Well, the thing is, look, for fishing, look, for fishing, I actually have to, uh, for, for like fishing, I actually have to like carry a lot of stuff. So, like, a motorcycle isn't really viable. All right, guys. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for joining me. Please join me again tomorrow. Like and subscribe. We will talk more about, like, 100x crypto coins and other crypto news. And I will see you guys later. Good night, everyone.